everyone. This is Karen. Welcome, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part one of big dreams, tiny homes, and the vocabulary words are emphasis. Emphasis. The emphasis in this exercise is on pronouncing each word correctly. Decade. Decade. It has been a decade since Jerry last went to Tokyo. Device. Device. The hunter devised a trap to catch rabbits. <laughs> Fortunately. Fortunately. Fortunately, the typhoon is not going to hit our country. Phew. Phew. Concrete. Concrete. The wooden house was torn down and replaced with a concrete building. So we're talking about big dreams, tiny homes. What does that mean? <laughs> well, tiny homes, well, what right? Is a tiny home. Well, a tiny home is a home <laughs> that's tiny. <laughs> Well, when we think of traditional homes, right, they're, they're quite big. There's quite a lot of living area. You are right. But a lot of space is just wasted, right? For just, you have really more space than you really need. I guess so. And in some places that's very crowded already, they do right. not have that big space yeah. for everyone. Like Hong Kong, right? Right. It's super crowded there. So they have to come up with some creative solutions in order to house all of the people in Hong Kong. And plus, the housing prices is extremely high in Hong right. Kong. Even, you know, like for if you were to rent a place, right. it's still very expensive. Right. So like the O-Pod in Hong Kong, this is a solution. It's made out of concrete. It's like a big concrete pipe. Okay. So quite big. And basically... So like a tiny home. <laughs> pretty much. It's a tiny home. Mm. And so they're inexpensive mm -hmm. and they're small, so you can kind of stack them up and it's kind of a, just a solution. I guess so, for people who really don't own a home, right? And they can't afford a home. Right. So I guess maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, right, and especially looking into the future. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, let's learn more. All right, enjoy today's lesson. Enjoy. Big Dreams, Tiny Homes. In today's world, increasing urban populations means that land and housing prices are climbing. In crowded modern cities, it can be nearly impossible to find affordable accommodation. For many people, the dream of owning a home has never seemed so far away. Today's lesson is called Big Dreams, Tiny Homes. Part 1. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. Yes, we would all love to own our own home someday, but housing prices are just going through the roof. If you live in Taiwan, you've probably heard that it's very expensive to buy a home here, and there are many other cities and countries around the world where that is true too, but people still have the dream of buying a home. So maybe you will be able to buy a home but it will be a small or a tiny home. A tiny, tiny, really small mini home for your big and gigantic dreams. And your big TV. And your really big flat screen TV. Anyways, we'll have a lot of contrasts for you hmm. guys today. Big and small, gigantic and tiny, so on and so forth. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's get back to housing prices. In today's world, our article begins, increasing urban populations means that land and housing prices are climbing. The prices are going up. Homes, apartment, uh, homes, apartments and houses are becoming more and more expensive. And yes, in crowded modern cities, it can be nearly impossible to find affordable accommodation. That's right, these cities are crowded, everyone wants a home, so the homes become very expensive. As we reach our break, we read, for many people, the dream of owning a home has never seemed so far away. Unless you're really rich, saving enough money to buy even a small home is increasingly difficult. It's a bad state of affairs, We'll take a break and then we'll be back with tiny homes to save the future. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。同学没有想过以后要买房子吗？ 
。不过现在房价那么高，高到让人不敢有这样的梦想。人家说在台北市买房子，你要十五年不吃不喝才买得起。哎，那房价的英文是 housing prices， 其中这个 prices 固定是用复数形。那麦考在开场的时候用到 go through the roof 这个片语呢，字面上的意思是冲破屋顶。那 go through the roof 引申的意思就是飙高、冲破高点。那可以用来表达某个东西的这个销售或是价格等等飞涨啊、激增、一飞冲天。好，课文一开。开始提到说，越来越多的都市人口就意味着地价和房价不断的攀升。在拥挤的都市里面，你几乎很难找到买得起的住所。那对很多人来说，拥有一个家是遥不可及的梦想。真的，好，这边一个补充单字 ：accommodation。accommodation 是名词，它表示住处或是住所。接华课文中 ，Big dreams, tiny homes. A tiny house can be a practical solution to this problem. With its emphasis on eco-friendly designs and a return to simple living, the tiny house movement has really taken off in the past two decades. Now, engineers and architects around the world are devising tiny house designs to suit a range of needs. We all have dreams, after all. Life wouldn't be worth living without dreams. We all have big dreams. Sadly, though, the same can't be said about houses. We can't all have houses these days because houses have become extremely expensive. So hey, a tiny house. Maybe this is going to save the day. Yes, a tiny house can be a practical solution. To this problem. Hmm. Interesting. With its emphasis on eco-friendly designs and a return to simple living, the tiny house movement has really taken off in the past two decades. So we will be getting a home, hopefully, but it might not be the home that you dreamed of when you were a kid. You have to sort of retool your dreams and put an emphasis on the most important things. First of all, of course, there's an emphasis on price.、Mm -hmm. Yes. You keep saying, you keep using this word emphasis.、Mm. Yeah, that's the first vocabulary word of the day. So let's take a look at it. First of all, the word emphasis is a noun. It comes from the verb emphasize. If you emphasize something, you want to make sure that people focus on this thing. You highlight this thing. You stress this thing. You want to make this very clear so that other people pay attention to it. Now, that's to emphasize something. Emphasis. Well, this is what's been stressed or highlighted. It's that important thing that you want people to pay attention to. For example, the emphasis in this exercise is on pronouncing each word correctly. So please do that. Okay, focus on pronouncing each word correctly. Now we also had that word decade. We're going to put an emphasis on the word decade right now because it's another important word. Very simply, a decade. This noun is a ten-year period. As my ten years. lovely assistant is demonstrating, ten, ten fingers, ten years. That's what a decade is. For example, it has been a decade since Jerry last went to Tokyo. So, doing some quick math, he was probably there ten years ago in 2009 or so. Anyways, moving on. Now, engineers and architects around the world are devising tiny house designs. To suit a range of needs, so apparently for about 20 years, tiny houses have kind of started to proliferate. Now, though, engineers and architects they're getting in on the action, and they are going to make and design and devise tiny house designs that are going to suit a range of needs. If you need a tiny house customized for your needs, hey, engineers and architects are now. On it. Anyways, before we move on, let's talk about this verb, devise. We're not talking about the noun device, d-e-v-i-c-e. -E. No, this is the verb, devise, d-e-v-i-s-e. -E. Now, if you devise something, you come up with something. You kind of design that thing. Now, one note: usually, 
You design, or excuse me, you devise something like a plan or a system or something like that. For example, the hunter devised a trap to catch rabbits. Hmm, sounds good. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 你可能会想说，现在房价那么高，怎么可能买得起房子呢？不过幸好有一些人正在设法解决这样的问题，像迷你屋，也许就是一个可行的方法。迷你屋重视环保设计，还有回归简单生活。那在过去二十年间呢，开始受到欢迎。现在世界各地的工程师和建筑师有加入行动，在构想迷你屋的设计图，来符合各式各样的需求。好 ，Jeff 老师刚刚用到 get in on the action。Get in on the action 就表示参与或是加入行动。那老师还提到，迷你屋的数量开始大幅增加。想要有客制化的迷你屋，也许你就可以请工程师或是建筑师来帮忙。那老师用到两个动词，一个是 proliferate。Proliferate， 它是拼作 P R O L I F E R A T E。这个动词表示激增或是扩散。老师还用到 customize。Customize， 它是拼作 C U S T O M I Z E， 这个字表示定制、克制或是克制化。好，这边还有三个单字 ，emphasis。Emphasis， 它是名词，表示注重、着重或是强调。那它的动词是 emphasize。Emphasize， 它是拼作 E M P H A S I Z E， 这个字就表示强调、着重。那我们也可以用 highlight 这个字来表达强调啊，或者是使什么显著、使什么突出。Highlight 是拼作 H I G H L I G H T。好，下一个单词 decade，decade decade 就表示十年、十年的期间。还有 devise。Devise 表示想出、设计或是策划。哎，有一个单字，它的发音跟它很像，哎，叫做 device。device 它是拼作 d e v i c e。那这个名词它是指装置或是设备。好，再看补充单字 eco friendly。Eco-friendly， 也就是对环境友善的、环保的、对环境伤害小的。还有 architect。architect 表示建筑师。接华课文中。Big dreams, tiny homes. In Hong Kong, housing prices are among the highest in the world, at an average of twenty-three thousand dollars per square meter. Fortunately, architect James Law has proposed an idea for economical tiny homes. He uses huge concrete water pipes to create what he calls the O-Pod Tube House. Two pipes placed end to end provide enough space for a living area, cooking, and a bathroom. These pipes can be piled up on top of each other and even move from place to place. Best of all, at a total of fifteen thousand dollars, O pods only cost around one thousand six hundred dollars per square meter. Okay, let's go ahead and learn some more about tiny houses and how they're going to save the day. Now, in Hong Kong, housing prices. Are among the highest in the world, at an average of twenty-three thousand dollars per square meter. So you can't have a big house in Hong Kong unless you're wildly wealthy and rich. So maybe tiny homes will come to save the day there in Hong Kong. That's right, twenty-three thousand dollars for one square meter. Now a large home would be hundreds of square meters. So. You can do the math and see how expensive that is. Fortunately, we read. Fortunately, architect James Law has proposed an idea for economical tiny homes. All right, so there might be an answer to this problem of homes being too expensive. And fortunately, or luckily, this architect has come up with an idea. Yes, we use fortunately. This adverb in very much the same way we use the adverb. Luckily, you're talking about something that happened in a lucky manner, in a lucky fashion, or at a very lucky time. For example, we could say, "Fortunately, the typhoon is not going to hit our country." Phew, we were lucky. Anyways, more on James Law.、Mm. He uses huge concrete water pipes to create what he calls the 
O-pod tube house. The O-pod tube house. I'm I'm as perplexed as you are. But hey, I do know what concrete is, even mm. though the O-pod tube house. I. Anyways, concrete. It refers to the stuff that sidewalks are made out of. Okay, concrete is rock that you can form yourself. Okay, you can take a certain type of powder, mix it together with stuff and water, and voila, you can make rock or stone yourself. So yourself. And yes, sidewalks, like I said before, are made out of concrete. As are buildings, usually like a, a big building. The skeleton of that building will be made out of concrete and stuff like that. Anyways, it's a building material, it's rock-like, and you can make it yourself. For example, the wooden house was torn down and replaced with a concrete building. Anyways, that's enough with the word concrete. Let's learn some more about O-pod tube houses and stuff like that. Okay, two pipes placed end to end provide enough space for a living area, cooking, and a bathroom. And get this, these pipes can be piled up on top of each other and even move from place to place. So, even though the name is weird, it sounds like the O-Pod tube house is quite useful and quite functional too. Anyway, we've got a weird name, the O-Pod tube house. But hey, these houses are quite versatile and cheap. Ooh. They sound very practical. And yes, cheap, the price. Remember, we were talking about the problems of expensive houses. So, what about the price? Best of all, it says, at a total of $15,000, O-Pods only cost around $1,600 per square meter. A lot less than the usual price of land in Hong Kong. So, there you go. Imagine owning your own home for $15,000. That's about so, the same price as a small car. Hong Kong, $23,000 per square meter mm -hmm. in O-Pod tube house. $1,600 per square meter. That's right. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. A lot of savings to be had there. Anyways, folks, with that, our time is up and it's time for us to say bye-bye. Take care. 台湾的房价已经很高了 那幸好有一个建筑师，他提出一个经济实惠的迷你物的想法。他是用巨大的混凝土水管来打造所谓的水管屋，O-pod tube house。那在这两节的水管前后可以相接来提供足够的空间，当做起居啊、烹饪的区域，然后还有一间卫浴，而且这些水管它是可以互相堆叠的，甚至可以到处搬迁移动。重点在于价格，水管屋的总价是一万五千美元，那每平方公尺只要一千六百美元左右。听起来是个多功能、价格又低廉的迷你屋。那我们其实可以用versatile或是念作versatile这个字来形容多功能的或是多方面适用的。这
。好，我们先来学句型 with 加名词逗号主词加动词。哎 ，with 这个介系词它有很多意思哦。那在这个句型里面呢，它就是就是指有了什么，或者是由于什么。with 加名词，你就可以表达出某一个条件啊，或是某一个原因，像是 with this medicine you feel better in no time。有了这种药，你很快就会觉得比较舒服，很快就好起来了。With Molly's help, we were able to finish the project ahead of schedule. 因为有 Molly 的帮忙，我们才能超前进度，提早完成那份企划专案。好，接着我们来学片语动词 take off。同学们应该有学过 take off 有脱掉的意思嘛？不过我们要学的是 take off 的不及物用法，就是没有受词的时候。那它可以表达两种意思。第一种是起飞，像飞机起飞。The plane will take off in 15 minutes. 飞机即将在十五分钟后起飞。好，那除了飞机起飞，在中文里面我们也会说经济起飞啊，或是事业起飞等等的。英文也是一样。Take off 的第二种意思就表示突然开始走红啊，成功大受欢迎。可是这个用法不能用在人身上，人起飞好像怪怪的嘛。它要用事物来当主词，例如 there。Their business is starting to take off. 他们的事业开始起飞了。接着我们来学副词片语 best of all， 就表示最棒的事。也就是说，某个东西已经很多很多优点了。那我们用 best of all 来引出最棒的部分，像是 the room at the hotel was clean and comfortable. And best of all, it was equipped with a widescreen TV and a Nintendo Switch. 那间房间干净舒适，最棒的是它有宽屏幕电视，还有任天堂的 Switch 游戏机。呼，好，接着我们来学 a total of。同学们有没有听过人家说，哎、欸，那个总 total 是多少啊？你去 double check 一下。好，那我们就来学习 total 的用法。Total 当名词呢，它是指总额啊、总数，像是 the total is seventy nine and two dollars， 意思就是说，哎，总共是七十九元。那我们还可以用 a total of 接数字或是金钱等等来表达总额是什么什么，像是 the billionaire bought three paintings for a total of more than two million dollars。那位亿万富翁买了三幅画，总金额超过两百万美元。天哪，有钱人世界我们真的不懂。好，最后我们来学 cost， 表示花费的用法。cost 当动词的时候，它的三态一样 ，cost， cost， cost。好，那它可以用来表达价钱是多少，花费多少金钱。那要用事物来当主词哦。那你可以用这样的句型，就是某个东西 cost， 后面要不要加某人都可以，然后再加金额，也就是表达说。某个东西花了多少钱？某个东西花了某人多少钱？例如 ，the dress costs eight hundred dollars。那件洋装要价八百美元，新台币八百元我都要考虑了。好，不管怎么样，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。四句表达，真是松了一口气。的英文使用句，欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠。有时候我们担心很久的事情，终于尘埃落定，松了一口气。这种感觉，英文应该怎么说呢？一 ，What a relief！ 二 ，That puts my mind at ease。三。That sure takes a load off my mind. 四 I can rest easier now. 第一个 That's a relief. That's a relief. 哦、oh, ，relief 就是放松。真的，好好可以松一口气了。啊、oh, ，That's a relief、uh,。那我们就不要拍了啊！ Oh, 不是不是，啊，那我们还可以怎么说呢 ？What a relief! What a relief! 对、嗯，这个通常也可以在上完厕所之后这样子。哦哈哈 ，What a relief！ 啊，真是解放的感觉，真好、啊。<笑> What a relief！ 没有了，通常是工作，工作完有没有？然后终于做完了。哦、oh, ，What a relief！ 对，我好喜欢讲这句话。嗯，放松了。那除了这样还可以怎么说？你还可以说 That puts my mind at ease。
That puts my mind at, at ease. ease. At ease 是放松。At ease. 好、oh, ，at ease 好，在在军队里面就是熟悉了啊，熟悉。At ease, at ease, okay. 放松，所以呢 ，puts my mind at ease， 让我的心呢可以放松，可以这个忧，这顾虑都解除了。对，比如说，哎，三月这个刚考完月考，终于可以放松。哦，这么这么早考啊，终于考。Okay, the final exam is over. Oh, the final exam is over. Okay, that puts my mind at ease. That puts my mind. At ease, 解除了这个压力，减轻不少。对，英文我们还可以说呢。That sure takes a load of my mind. 嗯 ，load 不是负担吗？对，所以 takes a load off my mind，、oh, 就是我心理上面的这个负担可以拿下来。拿下来，好，所以 load 负荷啊，负担啊。That takes a load off my mind. So it's a lot of my mind. 对，朋友如果压力很大，我们可以说啊，这边坐，这边 have a seat. Have a seat. Take a load off. Take a load of relax. Relax.、Oh, have a seat. Take a load of relax. 就是啊 ，Have a seat. Take a load of relax. 放轻松吧，放轻松。对，这个 load 跟工作息息相关，所以我们有时候会说啊、uh, ，I have too much workload. I have too much workload. Oh, 每个人都是 too much workload. <笑>工作量太大了。所以呢 ，workload 是工作量，对不对？工作量大到受不了。叫做 overload， overload， 对 overload， 名词，对名词、动词都可以啊。Okay. 所以我们可以说 I'm overloaded with responsibilities。我了解，你要这个顾家、带小孩，然后还有工作、养家，还要煮菜、oh, 洗衣服。哎呦 ，I'm overloaded with responsibilities。这太可怜了，真的，真的希望工作再能够缓一缓，好好休息。没错，对不对？没办法，好好休息，好好休息、就是，就是一个劳碌命哈。Yeah. I can rest easier now。I can rest easier now. 对，可以好好休息。好好休息。可是休息的时候又在想工作，就没有办法真的好好休息。So I can never rest easier. That's too bad. 好可怜哦。Okay, 我们来看今天的 live action. Yo yo, I know you have been quite worried about the order. Yeah, I'm not sure if I did well on the sales presentation. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. I've got some good news for you. Our clients place a Big order. Oh, oh, what a relief! <laughs> that sure takes a lot of my mind. It puts my mind at ease too. Yeah. I hope our boss will give us a raise. Yeah, that's right. Yeah.